Hi there, it's the Monday of UK Board Games Expo for us, well the Monday after UK Board Games Expo, for, mm. for you it should be Friday the 5th of June in TV now. Yes, exactly. Um, how are you feeling? Like my soul has been pulled out from my butt. Cool, I feel like I've got <laughs> razor blades in my feet. So uh, it was a busy show, busy, busy, busy show. Mm. Um, and you're about to actually look through some of the stuff that we recorded over the weekend. Yeah, we totally didn't forget to record filler <laughs> until right now. Yeah. Because we're professionals. So without further ado, let's see some interviews. Hi guys, I'm here with Nell, the shop for uh, Shadows of Esteran. Hey Nell. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Can you uh, give us a little bit of a background about what you've got going here? Um, Shadows of Esteran, it's a medieval setting. Uh, this is a dark fantasy, you know, low fantasy setting. So. Basically, it's, it's a mix between uh, old England and old Scandinavia. Oh, okay. But it's not, it's not an historical game. Okay. It's a, it's a brand new world, but when you can find a lot of inspiration. So, basically, it's a call of Tulu in the Dark Ages. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. Okay. You, are, you have to survive, you know, in a, in a land uh, where there are some mysteries. But maybe you don't want to discover all of them. You know? Yeah, because sometimes not knowing is always a good thing. Yeah, of course <laughs> it is. So this is because we have a lot of inspiration. And of course, uh, the Lovecraft uh, books uh, is a big inspiration for yeah. us. So I, I agree with you. Yeah. Sometimes you, you don't need you to don't know. You don't need to know. <laughs> it's best you don't know. It's safer to not yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything, I mean, I've seen you've got a lot on here, you've got miniatures, you've got the books, you're doing some painting and actually signing some of the books. Yeah. I mean, is there anything that's selling particularly well at this event? In fact, uh, the, this is a French role-playing game at yeah. first, so uh, it's a translation. Okay. So the, the point to be here today is to, to let the UK gamers discover the game. But so they know you're here. Yeah, and they, they like the core book, you know, yeah. because uh, this is the main book. So they can, it, it works pretty well. And we are very happy because I can sign yeah, the book. Yeah, I mean, I'll just show you this. It's impressive. Look at this. I mean, I, I can't believe the amount of detail that's gone into that. It's incredible. It's just beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, if I had half as much talent as you, I know, I know, I wouldn't be on YouTube. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's only some work after all. It's beautiful. But people are happy to have their signatures, mm -hmm. and the fact is that we have done a Kickstarter, and uh, if this book exists, mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, thanks to Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. So. We feel really grateful. Yeah, you've got a lot of people supporting you. Yeah, so yeah. they pass by and it's always a pleasure to do them uh, doing. Yeah. yeah, of course. The so you're kind of like an idol to some people. <laughs> that you've got a lot of fans. Ah, you know, it's a, it's a nice community. and Today we have a member of the community okay. uh, with an English guy who is helping us on the bus. So it's oh. really nice, you know, because... Someone specific, specifically here to help you get through to yeah, the fans. Yeah, yeah, Aww. yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm really impressed with just the sheer effort that you put into some of these books. I mean, they're stunning. Every single page is Thank something you. that you can really get your mind into. And you create all these worlds so beautifully. And, I mean, is there anything that you've got coming up that we can really look forward to? Uh, right now, we are working on books. Uh, about uh, ghost stories and occultism. Ghost stories. Yeah. <laughs> so you know dark, dark places you don't want to explore, but you will explore. <laughs> you will because there's that morbid yeah. curiosity that. Because, might... You know, it, uh, I love the. I am a fan of the old Ravenloft D and D setting, okay. the gothic and uh, uh, the dark and gothic setting for Dungeon and Dragon. Okay. I am a Dungeon and Dragon player myself. <laughs> but oh, I couldn't tell. There's no way you could tell. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it, it, for for this one, uh, the the goal is to explore uh, the classic horror horror Aura, thing. Yeah. So uh, ghost stories and the occultism book will be the 
I the opportunity to do that, you know. I, so, I mean, I know I'm going to be looking forward to like, at least seeing seeing what beautiful world you create in ghost stories. <laughs> I mean, ghost stories are scary, but, yeah, but you've made them everything here really pretty. I mean, interested to see how you create that. But I mean, I hope you're having a good event. Yeah, this is wonderful. You, it's I have done a lot of game convention, and I have to say, it's very special here Aww. because of the place. And the people are really friendly and welcome and welcoming and welcoming. And I have to uh, <laughs> apologize for my English, but it's fine. I can understand you. And okay. like I said, there's a lot of people here that aren't, okay. as, aren't as well for pronouncing English, but you're doing a really job. Well, thank you, but, thank you. I mean, I wish you all the best, and I hope thank to you, look forward to you. seeing more of your work. Thank you very much. It was much. really nice meeting you. Have nice a good weekend. You. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to thank you. Meet. Thank you. Hi there. Uh, this is the Friday of UK Board Games Expo, and we're interviewing. Rob here from Prodos Games. They make Warzone Resurrection and their brand new spangly shiny new AVP, Ta -da! which you may have seen from Kickstarter or possibly the TV. Yeah, or so, a computer, or, or a computer. an arcade game, or, or, or a comic book, or a novel, or yeah. whatever, but anyway. So yeah, so yeah. what's cool about it? Um, so we've released it today. Uh, at UK Games Expo for Kickstarter backers to pick up. Cool, that's handy. Um, and then at the end of the weekend, if we have any left, we're going to sell them because yeah, we don't yeah. want to take them home. We've only got 50 copies though. We literally picked them up from the manufacturing uh, department oh, yeah. in Poland. That, yeah, that was like you picked it up, drove here. Drove here. Yeah. Uh, and my bosses haven't slept uh, yeah. for over 24 hours Which now. is why we're interviewing him rather uh, than his yeah, boss. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're very grumpy Polish guys right yeah. now. Um, very, very grumpy Polish guys. I believe guys. there's a word for that, but I'm not uh, sure. Probably. Yeah, it yeah, begins yeah. with a K and yeah. ends with an A. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's a Polish word, yeah, but we're yeah. not going to go there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so we've got AVP for sale. Yeah. The guys have brought along all the Warzone stock as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got demos of AVP happening during the day, and we're showing off all of our figures for AVP and Warzone in our cabinets. Yeah. Um, and hopefully tomorrow we're going to be running more demos cool, of cool, cool, cool. Uh, Warzone. And there's also a very large tournament. Oh yeah, I saw. So what's like what's the the vibe with the tournament? I mean, what well, can, what's going on? What's it for? Kind it's of? a very hyped up tournament. Um, it's our first big international tournament. Oh, cool! It's international. We, it's international. So oh, awesome. we've, it's our big uh, 2015 tournament. We've yeah. encouraged guys to come from all over the world to play. Oh, in. brilliant! So we've got a big team coming from Poland. We've got guys coming oh, from awesome. Sweden, Germany, Italy. So as your professional being on the inside opinion yeah who do you think is going to clinch it what army do you think oh, it's going I to think be? there is a Mishima army uh, from Poland that yeah yeah he's he's a very very tactical oh, he, guy yeah and he's he got or there's a guy from the south of the UK who's playing Bauhaus who oh, okay. I think could really get it but yeah. we'll we'll see how I mean goes. for viewers who might not know Warzone has got a thing where not only do you roll dice to do all your actions you also have a, a number yeah. of cards and resources yeah, yeah which is a really nice touch in the game I thought yeah. Um, and that kind of is where the, the tournament scene should be interesting because yes. it will kind of generate a bit of a CCG yeah. meta game, you're this hoping. It's quite interesting because they they not only have to design their army list, but yeah. they, they get to design the deck lists as well. Yeah. So they have two army lists they can choose from before mm -hmm. each game. They also have two deck lists they can oh, choose. Oh, so you could go like yeah. Bauhaus, Area Denial, yeah, 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 but yeah. then with the same army go purely aggressive yeah, completely oh okay that's it's cool it's really interesting that's a really nice really touch for tournaments yeah yeah um, and yeah it's, it's going to be good the first cool. prize is a thousand pounds cash yeah so can I enter uh, uh, you could have entered damn it's a bit late now oh. um, could I kill someone and take their place I think I still have my capital um, army somewhere I think there is actually someone who has a spare ticket you could buy <laughs> and you could take part but it is a two day tournament yeah no I can't do that sadly you're working yeah <laughs> maybe, maybe working <laughs> yeah, yeah but yeah. no um, AVP though that's your new thing that is our new thing yeah what is the coolest component in it what's the thing oh, that makes you just man. go ah. uh, for me it's the brawl book inside I mean the yeah, rule well, book this is going to take a while. So the rule book is, um, it's been our kind of labor of love. This is the part that's taken the longest to get approved. Um, it's full color. Delightful. Um, it's got all the rules for the game in there as well. What's the spelling like? Um, it's perfect. <laughs> oh, delightful. Absolutely perfect. So it's been proofread several times by professional proofreaders. Awesome, awesome. It's been checked by Fox. Every single thing in this book is perfect. Yeah, because that's what, I know I know. there's been some delays, uh, but been that has problems. been primarily Fox and making yeah. sure things are perfect. Well, yeah, it's it? been yeah. a combination of Fox and us making sure yeah, things, yeah. Is per things are perfect and us having to tweak things, which yeah. obviously it takes time. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, this yeah. book is kind of the thing for me that gets me going. When I first <laughs> saw this, it, it does get me going in all the ways you are thinking right now. Um, it's kind of inappropriate. Yeah, I used to work with this man. 
<laughs> so yeah, yeah, right. No, cool. That is what we've got. Obviously, we're giving those away to Kickstarter backers first and foremost. Yeah, because the they, they paid their money. They paid their money. We really appreciate everything they put into the project. Yep. And um, if we have any left on Sunday, we will sell them, but still, Kickstarter cool. backers are taking the well, priority. Well, where can people find you on the Tinterwebs? On the Tinterwebs, if you go to ProdosGames.com, yep. you will find us. Nice and easy address. And cool. And Last closing, anything cool on the horizon you might be able to hint to? Okay, so um, obviously we're rolling out new yeah, releases yeah. for AVP if we can, and new releases for Warzone. Yeah. I think the next release for Warzone is probably going to be a Dark Legion model, uh, the Praetorian Goliath, okay. which people have been waiting for as it's got rules already yeah. in Heroes of the Solar System. Oh, cool, cool. Um, should come out very soon. Cool, well, pleasure talking Thanks to you, mate, much. and we'll have no doubt see you at another show. Have fun. Bye. Hi guys, I'm here with the one, the only, Andy Looney. Yay! Hi. So, I'm not sure that it needs to happen, but can you introduce yourself, Andy, and tell us a bit about what you're quite famous for? Well, uh, I'm Andy Looney of Looney Labs, the uh, game designer responsible for Flux and all the various different versions of Flux and pretty much all the other games our company has made over the years. In particular, there's also Chrononauts. Chrononauts, yeah. yeah. Chrononauts is uh, my time travel game. I'm very proud of that one. And we also have a couple of others. Chrononauts. Like and, uh, yeah, it's Chrononauts. Uh, yeah. I, have, I mean, I've, I've seen quite a few of these, and I know they're doing really, really Aquarius well. Aquarius and uh, Seven Dragons are basically the same game, and it's a sort of tile uh, tiling game, kind of like Dominoes. But our biggest hit is Flux. It's available in a dozen different versions, more than that. And we're bringing out new ones all the time. I mean, you've got a lot going, and I can see that you have, no doubt, a lot in line, lined up as well. But is there anything in particular that you're particularly proud of, and one of your greatest accomplishments? Well, um, I mean, my, my, my biggest hit is Flux. It's hard not to say Flux will be the thing I'm most proud of. But really, my, my, the thing that I think is the coolest thing I've ever made is actually this set of gaming pyramids called Ice House Pieces, or Looney Pyramids as we call them now, um, which can be used for hundreds of different games. And uh, They're amazing, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful, and they, they stack and nest beautifully, and they work for lots of different game design ideas because they've got different sizes and colors, and they can point at things, and they can stack. And so it's equivalent to a, like a deck of cards. Yes. In that you say, well, we're going to play a card game, well, well, then what do we want to play? You want to play poker or bridge or go fish or war or whatever it is. Maybe you need to gather some other equipment together for the game, depending on yeah, what I it is. Yeah, I can see exactly where um, these are slotted. Maybe it doesn't need anything else. But there are so many great games for this, it's hard to even begin to start it. But they're also tricky. They're uh, expensive. And in fact, this version, the, uh, the, 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 the pointing, the tips are a little too sharp for... Uh, yeah, UK I mean, testing standards. <laughs> it passed US testing standards. It's fine. It's so fine. they're not. They're uh, they're not really. Uh, they're hard to find here in the UK. I can imagine. But I mean. we're gradually working on a big new uh, box set that's going to have 22 different games you can play with these pyramids and everything you need for all those games. And we'll also re-engineer the tips to be a little bit better, Just so they should be a little bit be, more uh, child friendly. Hey? A little bit. <laughs> No, um, no, no bumping into anything. <laughs> if, you, if you lose one and step on it, it can be a bit of a problem. It's the new Lego. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's better than Lego if you ask me. But this, this, is, uh, this is very complicated because there's, you have to kind of get your brain around, well, what are these things? Mm. What's the game? Well, it isn't just a game. It's lots of games. So, and then you'll have to learn each of those games. And some of them are really easy. But my very favorite one is a game called Homeworlds, which is really challenging to learn mm. and like it's got a lot of rules and then even once you've learned the rules it's hard to figure out what you need to do to win but if if you get if you learn that game mm. and you learn how to play it and get good enough at it and then challenge me and beat me i will give you a medal okay all this, right this that one, sounds this like metal right here see that you, oh my and it says on the back i beat andy looney in a game of homework Okay, I've, all I've right, only, only a, 11 people have earned this medal, so that's good luck. That's an actual challenge right there. I no, it like is. I'm, I'm throwing down the gauntlet. Homeworld. Home Not just any it. game with the pyramids. Homeworld. <laughs> I'm going to go out of my way and learn, and then I will. It's a challenge that I've accepted right there. All right. I mean, have you got anything lined up that we can look forward to at all? I mean, I, I know you've Well, these are coming out next year, but coming out this summer, we have the Adventure Time version of Flux <gasps> and the Batman version <gasps> of Flux. 
So oh my God. We're pretty excited about both of those. <laughs> this is July and this is August. I'm, I'm, I'm already seeing how many of these will be sat in my house, all across my house, in strategic places. Yeah, I'm going to spend a lot of time playing that game a bit too much, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing as too much time spent playing one of my games. <laughs> well, um, it's been brilliant meeting you, Andy, and I know you're such a, a popular person here, and I feel honored to always talk oh, to you. Oh, well, it's an honor to be here and, and be among my fans. Nothing better than meeting people who like playing my well, games. I hope you're enjoying the event, and I'm I do hope time. that everybody here will get a chance to come over and meet you, because you're a great guy. Well, thank you, but, thank you. Yeah, it was nice to meet you and have a good weekend. All right. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. <laughs> so, that was the first batch of stuff we've done. Uh, we've, in fact, got so much content that we're probably going to be rolling out some extra episodes for you. Uh, so, yeah, we got a lot done. Yeah, not only that, most of the people we interviewed ended up giving us stuff to give to you guys in a competition. So keep an eye out for the competition details at the end, details of which will be in the description below. Or here. <laughs> Hello folks, if you'd like the chance to win a Book Zero The Prologue from Shadows of Esterum or the Bauhaus Starter Set from Prodos Games, just write your name and which one you'd like to win in the comments section below. We'd like to also thank Looney Labs, Prodos Games, UK Board Games Expo and Shadows of Esterum for being willing to put up with us over the weekend. And as always, like, favourite and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks! <laughs>